So according to my clock here, it is uh, Monday, 5.58 p.m. And we are on CNN's homepage. And I'm wondering, I feel like a big story broke today. So as you can see there, CNN's homepage. I feel like there was like a really big story broke today. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination, but... Um, Seems like, a you know, four women beat up. Seems like a big story. Been out for a while. You know, people have been talking about it all day, right? It's like a pretty big story. So if you get your news from CNN.com, and here, you know, let's refresh it so you can see. If you get your news from CNN.com, the ugly truth behind Trump, let's refresh it. See what we can find. So, no, no, that's the biggest story of the day. Well, hold on. Am I lying here? Um, there we are, Monday, 5.59 p.m., 6 p.m. And we are on here. Just watch it in real time. So I'm not Photoshopping. And the number one story is Trump had an ugly tweet. I'm not exactly, not exactly sure what that tweet was. And then we click over to Twitter and you can see like, oh, so this store, this isn't like a brand new like thing. People have been talking about it for a while, 50,000 tweets. The story came out earlier. So let's go see, let, 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 let's see. Let's see if we can triangulate when this story came out. Cause I think Arthur Schwartz is the first person I saw a tweet about it. So wow. So if you go to Cernovich, you'll find, you know, if you go to Cernovich, you'll find stories out. So I think Arthur tweeted it first. So here's Arthur. Before, I mean, this has been going on for all day, bros. This is like an old story. But, you know, by internet standards, you know, two hours ago. So, <laughs> wow, it really is that bad. Um, shoot. Hold on. I, so I can't even, you have to go like way, 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 way down into my timeline to even find the story, right? Because the story, you know, came out, you know, hours ago, right? So let's just, here we go. A couple hours at least. So here we go. So I tweeted out my link. Let's see what time I tweeted it out. I tweeted it out at 4 p.m. So I tweeted out at 4 p.m. It is now 6.01 p.m. And let's go to CNN. So it is now 6.01 p.m. Here we go. Time stamp it. And let's hit the refresh button. Okay, so as of 6.01 p.m. Okay. So there we go, 6.01 p.m. The top story, CNN, is the ugly tweet. So we now have proof that CNN covers up for Democrats. There is now, it is now no longer debatable. Um, it is now, I mean, they cover up now. So we now have proof. Here you go. Let me, let me get you a screenshot. 6.02 p.m. As, as of uh, 6.02 p.m., the number one story on CNN.com is Donald Trump's tweet, and there is no mention of Eric Schneider. So there you go. You have proof. CNN, they cover up. If you're a Democrat, you can do whatever you want to do, and they don't care.